Good morning. Welcome to the tea with Tota Sonia. Tea with Tota Sonia. Okay. It's not just tea. It's a little bit of a story time. So we have our butterflies today. The last two butterflies. And that's a long story. We're not going to tell you today. It's going to be a short one. So the story today is... Hmm, okay, we didn't do it right, but here's one more time. It's 133 butterflies. And we're doing tea. And we're talking about job search. So I have to remember stuff. And we're talking about Blessy and the interview I had yesterday. So. I went in an interview yesterday, that's why I had this white shirt and everything. And I was like very serious. But when I got there, like I'm just I just told stories and I had a good time and I talked about Toastmasters and but they did ask me serious questions about like they asked me programming questions and SQL and C sharp. I was sharp. <laughs> but who answers all the questions? right right okay let's this could be kind of distracting yeah but it's like this is something to enjoy even though it's distracting so and i know what's gonna happen but it's gonna be okay this morning just to mention to you i work with a recruiter and her name is blessy and she works at the company called divine that's a true story so when she leaves me voice messages, she says, Hi, Sonia, this is Blessy from a Divine. How could you turn out? I mean, I had so many recruiters calling me, but Blessy from a Divine, I had to listen to. So Blessy from a Divine, it's a good company. They send me like, how do you prepare for interview? And I was like, okay, I'll prepare. But then it was like, when you come to the building, ask say hi to the receptionist and ask her where's the restroom and i was like that's kind of too much of advice but then when i came to the interview i thought hmm it's actually a good idea to ask where's the restroom right now and so i did so bless it thank you bless it, and thank you divine i went to the restroom before my interview so i there was less distractions yeah distractions sometimes they're not good and then I talked to four people, like one and then the other, and like a business analyst and an architect and then another technical person and then the manager. And I talked to everyone and it was myself, but it was a little bit different, but it doesn't matter. So this morning, Blessy from Divine called me and she asked me, how did it go? And I said, I think it went okay. I think it was good. There's this one last question on the manager asked me. And I, I didn't know about that one, but I really think it was one of those questions. There's no right answer. And no matter what I would say, he would disagree with me. Like he said this and I was like, I think it's this. And he's like, no, I think it's that. And I think, and I could be like making the whole story up, but it's an interesting story. And I think he just wanted to see how I would react if he disagrees with me. Would I just say, yes, you're right. I did not say that. Would I just say, yes, you're on. I did not say that either. Thank you, Blessy and Divine. And just me being a little bit smarter nowadays. I was like, see, my point is because of this. And yeah. So the, what was the question? You're like, what are you telling them? Um, he asked me if you have to write like three little methods on REST API, how would you write them? And not how, like how long would it take you? And I was like, well, it depends. Maybe like a day. And he was like, no, just three little methods. Why a day? And I was like, well, I would have to like build a framework and I would have to add air handling. And he's like, no, no, your requirements just build three simple methods. How long will it take you? And I was like, huh, hmm. Well, it could be a couple of hours. And he's like, no, just two simple methods. And I was like, hmm. And I was like, you know, you're right, you're right. It could be faster. 
I mean, it could be. But I still think you should have a framework. But I mean, you're right, you're right. So that was my answer. And we'll see. And if that's not gonna work, I mean, I cannot be any more compliant than that. I could say, yeah, it could be in an hour, but I could also say I'd rather overestimate than underestimate. And butterflies, what do you think? Because if I would say like, I'm gonna raise 500 butterflies in one summer, what am I gonna do? Even if I would say, if somebody would tell me, can you raise 133 butterflies this summer? I would be like, no, I cannot do that in one, 100 years. I would like, no, no, that's too many. Like, let's, let's not overestimate. I'd be like, let's start with five. And they'll be like, come on, it's 133. And be like, no, let's start with 10. 10 is doable. Honestly, if somebody would have told me in the beginning of this summer that I'll raise this many butterflies, I'd be like, huh, you're smoking mirrors. So the point is, you are powerful beyond your imagination, beyond your beliefs. And it's okay not to know, because it's like scary. It'll scare you to know how powerful you are. But you have to know, you're very powerful. And you're amazing. And if you want to do something, just do it. But don't like put it as big goal, like don't. Just say like little steps. I'll just raise one butterfly. That's all I want. And that's it. And then you'll see, maybe there'll be a couple more and a couple more. And, and, but when there's 133, you know what's important? That you still look at them and you say, oh my God. And if you don't say that, if you like look at them and like 132, 133, okay, we're done. Then you're like, what the heck are you doing? Okay, bye. I'm 337. I'm over my limit. But I love you. And I want to thank. Yes, I'm going to thank artificial. No, that's a different. But I still going to thank artificial intelligence because it really helped me during the summer and it's still helping me to sort all my videos. But in Russian variation, I will thank them even more. I love you.